In a field of Sagittarius's, it is quite uncommon to smell a stench of B.O. But in today's case, it is not that uncommon to detect an aroma of a Leo. Hi, my name is Amaya Henry and welcome to the first ever episode of Bad Liar Bison. Shh. So basically, Bad Liar Bison is Spotlight Network's new game show that allows clubs and other students to compete against each other through vouching for the fact that they share a certain commonality. But one person doesn't and they have to try to detect who that person is. Today, we have sisterhood organizations competing against each other, including Ladies of the Quad Social Club, Revolt Incorporated, and Pretty Period. They had four rounds to detect who the bad liar bison was and whether or not they felt they voted them out or not, or if they wanted to just keep going and see what happens. Hey y'all, I'm JC Jackson and I am representing LOQ, um, Ladies of the Social, um, Ladies of the Quiet Social Club, sorry. Um, and I am a Sagittarius. Hello, my name is Amaya Price and I'm also representing the Ladies of the Quad Social Club, and I'm a Sagittarius. My name is Taylor. I'm representing Pretty Period, and I'm also a Sagittarius. Hi, you guys. My name is Kendall Pointer. Um, I am representing Pretty Period, and I am a Sagittarius. My name is Ayana Pruitt, and I'm representing Revolt Incorporated, and I am a Sagittarius. Hi everyone, my name is Morgan Skinner and I'm representing Reward Incorporated and I'm also a Sagittarius. Hello and welcome once again to Bad Liar Bison. We have Revolt Incorporated, Ladies of the Quad Social Club, and Pretty Period. There will be four different rounds, five minutes for each round, and each of them will have to basically vouch for the fact that they are a Sagittarius and at the end of each round, vote off whoever they think is lying the bad liar bison and they will be voting by sending um a direct message to me in the zoom chat so uh without further ado starting in three two one go we'll start with a question how are you when you're angry honestly i try not to react like in this like in the moment but I'm, I will definitely cry just out of anger. Um, I barely cry when I'm sad, but when I'm mad, the tears will definitely get to flow it. No, heavy on that, like, and if some, my favorite scenario is somebody messes up my food, that's when I get mad. And so it's like, I'll be so hard, I'll try so hard to keep it calm and collected, but it's not even a case of I'm yelling at you. Like it's, I need to go step aside for a second. Let me go go release these tears real quick and then come back yeah um i'm definitely a crier when i'm mad i don't know why but the tears just start rolling when i'm mad and also it's like like i say the first thing to, like to hurt you when i'm angry so like if you make me mad i just say the first thing to hurt you like i just get on your skin I'm the same way, like, I be crying. It's either I'm crying and, like, very emotional or I don't say nothing and I'm very, like, vengeful. I don't say nothing, you just gonna feel it. For me, it takes me, like, a little bit for my anger to, like, build up, like, you know, build up, build up, build up, and then once it's up, it's just up. Okay, for me, when I get angry, I get, I turn numb, like, it's like I'm not myself at this point. Okay, so the difference between like anger and rage, like I don't know, like sometimes I get so angry that I be enraged. Like I don't know how to explain it, but like you really be having me fucked up. Long story short, like I don't know, it's like it's a different type of man because you get when you mad at your family, you got when you mad at your friends, you got when you mad at your significant other. I think for me personally, it's it gets worse when I'm mad at like whoever I'm talking to at the time because that tends to be, you know. But I don't know. I just feel like when I get mad, I I turn into a different person for real. Like, I don't even know how to explain Okay, it. I'll ask a question. Um, 
because Kendall talked about significant others. Do y'all like long-term relationships or do you like like quick little flings or something like that? I'm definitely long-term, y'all. I can't, like, I can't. I'm so long-term. If I do, like, anything with somebody, I automatically get attached. Literally, automatically, I can't. I felt that. I definitely be getting attached. Like, you know, like, Sagittarius have, like, a stereotype. They always say, like, we're afraid of commitment. But I be committed. Like, my longest relationship was, like, four years, almost five. I, I get attached so easily. Yeah, they love saying that um, we can't have like consistent relationships. And it's like, for me, I'm definitely long term, but I don't like, I can't settle for less. So it's like, once you like really disappoint me, I, I'm on, I, I gotta keep it pushing. Like, I just I can't wait on you. Answer this last question. I'm sorry, I'm doing Instacart. So for me, I'm not going to like, I don't know. I guess I lose interest fast because I think people that I think that before me, they don't. And so I just don't sit back and wait for it to get worse than what it already is. So I move on quick and I don't be feeling bad about it. But if you're loyal to me, I'm loyal to you. But yeah, simply put. I feel like with me, I feel like I might get attached like quickly to someone. But like if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And I move on real quick. Yeah, detachment not nothing for real. I'd be so head over heels, but once it's done, it's done. It's like clip. Literally, I won't even think twice. I'll, you'll be a stranger. So, we have one vote for Amaya. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> one vote for Kendall. One vote for Ayana. One vote for Taylor. One vo vote for another vote for Ayana and one vote for Morgan. So I am so, so sorry, Ayana. Um, you have been eliminated. So I was voted off first. I think it was because I was more quiet and I didn't say as much as everybody else did. And that's not always that serious, like, but it's okay. Um, I think Taylor is not a Sagittarius because she had brought up the thing about commitment. And that's a really big stereotype that Sagittarius can't commit. So I feel like she was using it to kind of throw us off a little bit. But I think it's her. Round two is starting now. We can start off with what is your biggest flaw? My biggest flaw would have to be... I mean, this could be a strength or a flaw, but for me, it's like, it's a flaw because it's forgiveness. I forgive way too easily. Like someone could do me like so wrong so many times, but I just feel as though I just have to see the best in every single person, even if they don't even show me the best them. So it's definitely forgiveness for me. See, I might be forgiven, but you know, I hold I hold bad grudges, like very bad grudges. And like if you make me mad, like I feel like I gotta do something two times back over, like just to get over it. Like I can't same here like you could pinch me i'm gonna try to slam a chair over your head like that's just my i gotta get my revenge period like you're not gonna play with me like you feel me i just feel like this in every situation like i don't know like i be feeling like i don't know i done did some dirty i done did some dirty stuff i don't even curse on him i done did some dirty stuff so i already know how i'm coming about myself so just know not to cross me because it's gonna be 10 times worse than you i've grown up a lot compared to because y'all understand like i'm grown now like i don't even i'm like i just graduated from howard so i can't be out here doing what i used to do but yeah i used to be on some re very revengeful type stuff but i don't know i guess i'm kind of growing up because i don't really see uh, myself really indulging into stuff like i usually would so i guess that's a growth spurt but she's still in the closet don't think that she won't come out period because she will I think my biggest flaw will probably be that like I may be an emotional person like on the inside but on the outside you'll think like I don't really care about anything so it's like people will, like try to talk to me it's like yeah like I care on the inside but I can't let you know that I care because 
you might try to take advantage of that or try to cross me in the future. So I gotta make it seem like you can't, you can't touch me. So mine is, I'm trying to figure out which one is the biggest, so maybe indecision, but um, let's see, I'm really bad at balancing things. So I put too much on my plate, try to be like, this perfect person and that's impossible so I'm over here like drowning in work just to like get these some out desired results so balance like a balance what's everyone's birthday I feel like you asking too many questions December 20th duh ah. mine is November 30th mine is November 30th Ooh. December 16th <laughs> December 14th Are y'all more outgoing or like like homebody type? I'm definitely extroverted. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I was born with an introvert. I, I mean, since the pandemic has happened, I've been forced to be an introvert. But I feel so confined. Like, I just want to burst out the house and just like never go back inside because I don't like being isolated. I feel like I feed off of other people's energy. So I wanna be in a I wanna be in a mix. I wanna be around people that I care about or people that I'm I'm hanging with. So this really got me out of my element for real, for real. I'm a very outgoing person. Like I make friends so easy. Like I don't even have to try hard. I'm just one of the people like you bring around and just like a burst of energy. I'm filled with energy that's one thing about me like I'm, I always stay hype for every for no reason I'm always that one person who just start dancing out of nowhere or just make weird noises like we, I'm just always laughing just a bunch of joy um I'm also an extrovert but Howard taught me real quick that I can't be around too many people for too long so at some point it runs out <laughs> it does not last all day I would say I'm definitely an extrovert too. And I'm very adventurous. Like I like being around people, but but not necessarily like parties, but I like actually doing activities and like exploring and trying new things. Like standing in a party, like, no, I wanna go try five different things before the night's over. Well, everybody send in your votes. We have one vote for Morgan. One vote for Kendall. One vote for Amaya. One vote for JC. And another vote for JC. Hi guys, I'm JC. Um, I just got voted off um, in the second round. I think I got voted off because of what I said about the birthdays, but I was literally just trying to throw people off and get people talking. But I'm definitely a Sagittarius. Um, my birthday is November 30th, but I'm very skeptical of Kendall and Morgan. Morgan, because she said my birthday right after I said it. So, like, I don't know. I feel like she just came with that, came up with that on the spot. And Kendall is, like, very, like, lively and outgoing. Like, more than a Sagittarius. Like, I feel like Sagittarius are way more, like, standoffish. And, like, wait till other people, like, start the conversation. But her personality was, like, A1 and, like, very outgoing. So, I really feel like it's her, but I don't know. But I hope LQ wins. Shout out to everybody. I have fun. Bye. I don't think we did them out. Um, some people are looking like my suspicious to me. So hopefully they don't target me now that I've said that. But <laughs> it does not seem like we weeded them out. I honestly feel like it could go both ways. Like part of me is saying like, yeah, we got rid of the Leo. But the other part is like, uh, but did we? You know, like. <laughs> I just feel like it's a 50 50. I agree with Amaya. You know, you just never know. I was ready to say that. Like, I don't know. Far be telling me did. So I'm saying, I don't even know what to go with at this point. I don't even know. Round three starts in three, two, one, go. Um, If y'all want a question, uh, what is your uh, best trait? We already talked about our flaws. What do we like about ourselves? Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You can go ahead, Amaya. Okay. Uh, I would say my best uh, characteristic would be 
that I'm very optimistic and I have a good attitude. Like I try not to be the Debbie Downer of like any friend group or any situation because I just feel like like negativity will really just like have a hold on you and change your whole mood. And so if somebody's having a bad day, I always wanna try to make them feel better and see the positive side to any situation because everything can always be worse. But yeah, that's it, positivity really. So I'm going to say my resilience. Um, I tend to come out on top in a lot of the situations and obstacles um, that I face. So I'm just like, my ability to bounce back super quick um, is just lit, you know? So I think that's what I admire most about myself is um, the fact that I don't give up easily and that I, you know, continue to fight the good fight. That makes sense. Yeah, mine was similar to what, um, Kendall said, um, I'm just like the type of person that like, if I want something, I just go get it. Like I always strive for like, I'm an overachiever basically. And so I just do whatever I need to do to get to where I want to get to basically. I just never give up. Okay, so I was also going to say my drive, like kind of like Taylor, if I want it, I'm going to go get it. And like, I don't know. There's something like I can't stop working until I achieve what I want. So, I feel like I definitely agree, like with the drive, but like I will literally wear myself out. Like, just even this past week, just with working and school and just extracurriculars, I, I try to do everything at once. And I'm like, yeah, like I know I can do it, but I'm going to be tired but i don't know you just got to keep going because it's like i could rest when i get all the way to the top so I'll, I'll struggle for now okay what makes you most happy in life i go first when i got some good food like i don't know it's just something about when you go you pick up food man and you like it's your time to relax like you finna go in for the night you got your food you got your movies like you just finna chill like i feel like that's when I'm most content, like when it's just everything, when I'm winding down and I got some good food, like, yeah. That's like a, the greatest part of life in that moment. For me, when I'm most happy is like when I'm dancing. Because like when I'm dancing, I just, you know, you just, like dance is like a way to like, you know, express your feelings without verbally saying them. And with me, I'm an overthinker. Like I overthink all the time, so much. So dancing is a way for me to step out of my head. So that's basically what I'm most happy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Morgan, do you want to go? Okay. Um, I'm the most happy when I'm traveling. Like, I don't really like staying in one spot for a long time. So when I have the opportunity to travel, get on a plane, get in the car, like, I, I'm ready. Like, I don't care where we're going, especially if it's somewhere new. Like, I don't care. Just take me somewhere. Like, the world is so big. And in my head, I'm just like, wow, like, the world is so big. I need to explore as much as I can. Like, I have to. So it really just brings me joy. I love it. kind of feed off of their energy and like if we're all happy then I'm ecstatic like that is that's what I love so. so we have made it to round three and it's time for everyone to send in their votes and we'll see what happens next we have one vote for Morgan two votes for Morgan one vote for Amaya and another vote for Morgan Okay, so I just got voted off. Um, got all three of the votes, so you know, not fun, but I feel like it was because I just like wasn't answering in the way that might have been 
like stereotypical for a Sagittarius. I'm not really sure, but I think it's Amaya, like almost positive that it's Amaya. I feel like she was just answering like that was in ways that were just too textbook. Um, I think when she was talking about like, is she if she's an extrovert or an introvert, she was like, I'm an extrovert and I'm very adventurous. And I feel like every single like, every single zodiac sign post always talks about how Sagittarius is associated with like adventure. Um, so yeah, definitely think it's her. What sign do you mesh most well with? Whether it be friendships, relationships, or general compatibility? I am fascinated with Aries. I don't know. I think it's because like they're like, for the most part, with the guys I've dealt with, they're super chill. Um, so they really don't try to do too much. It's from my experience. Um, I'm tend to be the one that's kind of extra. So um, yeah, like they like my polar opposite, I suppose. So yeah, I really enjoy Aries. Mine would be other Sagittarius because I've met, um, I have other Sagittarius friends. And when I say we're just like, we're really alike, it's crazy. Like, it's like never like um, any bad time with us. Like, we're all just goofy and we all just like have fun. That's why I really like am more compatible with them. But I, I will also say, Gemini's also like and what like it is kind of like it's a it's in with Gemini like one minute we good one minute we bad but I feel as though like I can compare with them too for as personality wise I definitely agree with the Gemini because my best friend is a Gemini and it's cr like she's almost the polar opposite of me but that balance is crazy like she balances out my impulsiveness, my indecisiveness. She comes through with the logic, the reasoning, everything I need. But I also want to say Libras. So like Libras are also very like positive and just outgoing. And I love being around them because it's like we're, we, we can relate in that way. And so I definitely think um, Geminis and Libras for sure. First and foremost, I'm a Libra, so. You know, I get that. <laughs> and, um, and we have come to our last round, everyone. Um, Y'all have all done great in vouching for your sign. So everyone just share the your votes and we will go from there to see who it is. Okay, alrighty. One vote for Kendall. One vote for Amaya. And our last broke, the that is the deal breaker, is Kendall. So you, um, we have our winners, Amaya and Taylor, representing LOQ and Pretty Period. <laughs> woo, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everyone, y'all all did great participating. Thank you all for your contribution. And um, any final thoughts of who y'all thought like the the bad liar bison was and whether or not they won before we reveal. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really thought it was Kendall. Um, I thought it was Kendall just because you're so like lively. Like I don't know why. Like I feel like Sanitaries are like way more like standoffish but like you were so lively i was like oh my god but i also thought it was morgan too because morgan said my birthday but i, I don't know <laughs> morgan's like you said my birthday <laughs> my birthday <laughs> i thought it was amaya um her answer seemed really textbook like every single zodiac post to talk about said sagittarius adventurous and she was like i'm an extrovert i'm adventurous and i was like hmm and then also JC said my birthday, so. <laughs> See, I thought it was Morgan. And okay, my answer is maybe a little textbook. That's literally the best way to describe it. Like, no. But yeah, I, it was honestly hard. I, I thought it was Ayana at first, just because she was just so like poised and together. 
like I, th- I thought she was just judging all of us I'm like no it's got to be her and I thought it was Morgan and I was like dang but what if it's Kendall so I don't know I initially thought it was Taylor because Taylor had said the um she had said something about commitment and I was like that's what every single zodiac sign like post says about Sagittarius so I was like uh uh-uh. I thought it was her well, I no. thought it was Jesse because they started with me. This <laughs> I like briefly thought it was Terry for like a hot second because she was talking about um, she was talking about she doesn't hold grudges, like she's very forgiving. And I was like, I've never ever heard of a Sagittarius that forgives e- easy. Never once heard of that. Never. That's that's just me as a person <laughs> overall. All right, now it's time for the grand reveal. If you are the bad liar bison, well, not the bad liar bison because you obviously lied well enough to make it far, please come on out. It is I, people. I, am I knew it. Show. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it from the beginning. Nobody wants to believe. <laughs> I was in the chat, y'all like Kindle, 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 Kindle. No, but like, but Jason, don't get it up though. I got a mean streak. Like, <laughs> I will cut my mom out if she oh plays. Oh my with god! Me. So no, seriously, like I, I don't play. Like I don't know. I guess as a Leo, like loyalty means a lie to me. So if you show me that you are unloyal, then I can't trust you. Like I did not, and I can't have nobody around me that I can't trust. So. Yeah, but okay, I see you. You got a little take the ways about you. I see you, sis. Period. But yeah, I'm the Leo, so whatever. I mean, all is where all is all is fair in love and war. I guess. No, oh, you can finish. Now that you say you're a Leo, you do remind me of my friend that's a Leo. Like she's she's just so outgoing and like she don't care what she say at all. Well, guys, um, the winners were Ladies of the Quad Social Club and Pretty Period. So our Leo still kind of won because she is a part of that club. And y'all will split the cash prize of $20. And each club gets 10 So thank you all for coming. This was, this was fun. I liked getting to know about y'all. And to all the clubs out there, when y'all see this, HMU to be on because... This is just like how it happened. And y'all could even, you know, make the prize bigger with different contributions to make it more competitive. So yeah, we'll see. And thanks for watching Bad Liar Bison.